Hey guys, it's Katie and this is My Life with Beds. Today I'm going to talk to you about my history of acroduria or premature aging of the skin. This is particularly on my hands. You can see that my hands kind of look old. So my hands have been like this since I was in elementary school. I remember getting made fun of for it starting in elementary school and I even thought that one of my teachers didn't like me because my hands looked like they did. So as I got older, it became even more of an issue for me, like something that I was really uncomfortable with about my body. I think we all have these things that we're uncomfortable with. And for me, my hands was a really, really big one. It didn't help that each time I had a weird medical issue, it seemed I would meet a specialist in a different specialty than rheumatology who would tell me that I had scleroderma because of how my hands looked. This is acrogeria. This is not what scleroderma looks like. So I was tested for scleroderma at least three times in my life. One time a cardiologist told me that I had scleroderma. He even brought a medical student in the room to show them what scleroderma looked like. This is not scleroderma, this is acrogeria. They just look old, 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 old. So I was tested for scleroderma several times before I got my diagnosis of vascular Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome or VEDS. Now that I know that my acrogeria is caused by VEDS, I'm really a lot more comfortable with it than I was before, although it's still been a point of contention. So when I got engaged, I didn't want a ring and I was really, really against a ring, mostly because I was didn't want anything to draw my own attention to my hands because they made me uncomfortable. I don't know how many stores I went to looking for a ring because I felt like it was expected, like I would be doing something wrong if I didn't have one, even though I know that isn't true. And my husband reassured me he didn't mind. He just wanted me to have something. We went to store after store after store. I'm shopping with my friend Becca. We go to a bunch of stores to look at rings to see if I can even imagine wearing one or if there are any kinds of rings that would make me happy. I also have a hard time with things that make me feel girly. I kind of go off and on on that too. So it was hard to find a ring because I really just wanted a men's ring. We're going and looking at rings. I don't know how many stores we have been to. I put on this ring and every single one I'm just like, it's so shiny. My friend Becca finally turns to the guy who's like showing us these rings and she's like, do you have anything that maybe has been, you know, dipped in dirt or, you know, really just, do you have anything that's dirtier so it's not shiny. I just hated the idea of having something shiny on my hand because it would draw my attention right to it. We didn't do the engagement ring thing. Uh, we do we do have rings, but they're really cool rings. I thought that if I could get the coolest ring I could think of, that maybe it would overcome or overpower this feeling like I hated my hands. When I got this really cool ring, which glows in the dark, I cried really, really hard. When I put it on, all I could see was my hands. So I had a big cry about it and then I moved on and now I love it. My hands are what they are. My feet are kind of like that too, but it's really, really my hands that are like this. So this is a sign of VEDS. For me, it took 28 years before I got my diagnosis of VEDS and they were like this since I was little. And they've only just gotten older, the older I've gotten. I'm only 31, so. Thank you guys for watching. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you like this video. I would really, really appreciate it. And stay tuned for more videos about my symptoms and my life with VEDS. Love y'all, see you later.